Hello everyone, my name is David Litchfield. I am the author and illustrator of such books as The Bear and the Piano, The Bear, The Piano, The Dog and The Fiddle, and my latest, newest book, The Bear, The Piano and Little Bear's Concert. Now, it's very exciting, it's nearly Christmas. I've got my Christmas jumper on, and Moon Lane Bookshop have asked me to make a video of me drawing a festive version of Little Bear. And you can draw along too as well. Let's make a start. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so this is my sketchbook, and this is where I'm going to draw my festive version of Little Bear from Little Bear's concert. Okay, so Little Bear looks very similar to her dad, um, although there's a few subtle differences, but we're going to start off with this shape, similar to how we draw the bear from the bear and the piano, which is Little Bear's dad. Uh, then I'm going to put this shape in the middle, a couple of nostrils, and she's got a slightly different mouth. She smiles a lot, Little Bear, so we're going to do this, this shape here. There's her mouth. And then let's give her a few happy looking teeth down the bottom and then maybe the hint of a tongue. Okay, now I'm going to colour that in because that's her mouth and we can't see much light. So there we go, very dark. Do, 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 do. A couple of dots for where the whiskers will eventually grow. Okay, now let's do some eyes. So one eye on this side. She's got slightly wider eyes than her dad as well. That's another difference. There you go, so one circle, and then just keep the circle going, and going, there we go. And then, let's give her a few eyelashes. Very pretty looking eyelashes, there we go. Okay, uh, eyebrows. Now, what I'm going to do now is we need to think about where her festive hat is going to go. So rather than just draw her entire head, I'm just going to draw a little bit like that. There we go. And then I'm going to draw an ear coming there. So we started drawing a head, but then we just, all we're going to draw is the ears. There we go. Another one there. Like that. And then where her head would be, I'm going to draw the beginnings of her Christmas hat. So let's bring... Like that. And that one tucks behind her ear like that. And then to the top of the page. And then dangling down like this. There we go. Okay. And then the bauble, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what that bit's called. Um, but there we go. Okay, so there's her hat or the beginnings of her hat. And then I'm just going to with a very kind of rough line start drawing the side of her head now this is another difference to a uh, little bear in that she's got quite a long longer face um, compared to her dad's slightly rounder face um, so it sort of comes down like that let's keep drawing some some fur there we go now I'm gonna draw her paw because I think she's just seen one of her Christmas presents so she's a little bit shocked so a stubby little paw there we go and then she's got some claws in fact let's bring draw another one to the side there we go okay so she's very excited because it must be Christmas morning in the forest and yeah I think she's got some really good gifts okay let's draw some shoulders okay there we go so there is the very basic kind of outline of little bear now let's start adding some some detail now I'm going to take my brown pencil uh, this is called chocolato this color uh, and I'm just gonna add I'm not gonna add too much color but just add a little bit of a hint of brown fur even though she's slightly greyer than than uh, her dad, but there's some indication of brown in there. So let's just do that around the sides, around the sides of her paws. There we go. 
maybe around the side of her nose like that. That's looking cool, just to give her a bit of a bit of life, and then a few tufts of hair at the top here like that. Maybe a little bit around the eyes. Just little dashes of brown. Maybe where her claws are kind of going as well. Okay. She's looking good. Right. Let's add. Um, let's add a bit more. In fact, let's try this. This is a bit risky, but this is a this is a bronze pencil, which is quite cool. And look, it kind of brings out some of the highlights. Let's think about where the light would be going. So the light looks like it's coming from this direction. So the shadowy bits would be on this side. So let's just follow that rule. There we go. Just by giving, we can maybe get a bit more spontaneous with it as well. There we go. Just to add a bit more detail. Just little lines. Don't have to cover the whole face. Just, just part of the face. There we go. Remember, it's a sketch, so we can be very free and easy and very scruffy. That's one of the reasons why I love drawing in my sketchbooks, is because you can be as free and kind of careless and make mistakes. Um, and that this is the best place to do it in a sketchbook, is to make all those mistakes and just be as scruffy and as kind of, uh, like I say, free as, as you possibly can be. I love sketchbooks for that. Okay, a few more dots of hair around the ears. And there we go. Now, let's put Little Bear in a bit of a context. So I have a green pencil here. Now, obviously, she lives in the forest with her dad and the other bears. So let's just give a little indication that there's a forest behind her. So I'm just going to do some vines coming down like that behind her. Maybe a couple of leaves in the corner yeah obviously we don't have much space so we're just going to have a little a little bit of foliage coming around her like that there we go how cool would it be to live in a forest surrounded by all this nature and all these lovely trees okay there we go maybe a few bits up here let's put some more leaves coming like that okay now staying on the leaves I'm just gonna add a bit more detail so I'm gonna go back to my my uh, actually that's not my original pencil where's my original pencil there it is uh, let's add some detail onto the leaves uh, there we go on those ones the slightly bigger leaves will have veins running through them and then I'm also gonna add some darker vines and darker leaves just to give a bit of variety in the colors okay with my um, dark pencil I'm going to just color in the claws again think about where the light would hit so I'm just going to leave a little bit of white at the edge just to give it a bit of a 3D quality with the lights coming this way yep and then the same with her nose, so the light's coming there, so I'm going to leave a little dot of white on the top of her nose and just shade in the rest of it. There we go. And now her eyes, now she's got lovely brown eyes, um, but the middle bit is black with a dot of, a dot of white, again to indicate where the light's coming from. Let's do a few lines there like that and then uh, where's my bronze pencil that would be look quite nice I think if we just color that in like that just to give it a little bit of a bronze feel and then maybe add some brown as well again leaving little dashes of light because obviously the eyes reflect light a lot okay so now that I'm happy with that what I can do is take my soft pencil 
and I'm just gonna really lent, uh, gently shade all around little bear again just to give her a bit more being very free and easy and scruffy and sketchy uh, just to give her a bit more detail there we go obviously you might have a bit more time so you can you can take a bit more care maybe take a bit more time making it look as good as you can get it although as I said one of the best things about sketchbooks is that you can kind of just go for it really there's no rules with sketchbooks it's just about experimenting and seeing what works one of my favorite parts of a project is when I'm working in my sketchbook and coming up with ideas and just kind of drawing for the sake of drawing that's where some of my best ideas come from is when I'm just doodling in my book not really thinking too much about what it is I'm drawing Sometimes that's where some of the best ideas can come from. Okay, let's give her a bit more prominent fur down there. There we go. And then where we would see some shade, so maybe around this little tuft of hair, we can add a bit more thicker. In fact, let's go back to my original pencil, dark pencil. Okay, really define the shade. And then just around the edge of the hat as well. Okay. In fact, let's give some attention to this hat. There we go. Okay, so my final bit of colour. Now, obviously, she's got a very Christmassy hat on. So let's take a red. Well, it's kind of red. It's more burgundy, but it's kind of a brighter colour. And I'm just going to, again, very gently shade in her hat. Okay, looks good. Now, as I've got this red out, I may as well just give her a few, a little bit of a rosier cheek. Just a little hint of a red, red cheek. And as it's as it's Christmas, it's in winter, so she might have a bit of a redder nose area. There we go bit chilly outside in that forest okay nearly finished let's just give her a bit more grey generally all around just to show that she is little bear and not daddy bear or mr bear or the bear in the piano I still don't officially have a name for that that guy but maybe you can come up with a name for him Okay, and there she is, little grey bear. One of the hardest things about drawing these pictures is it's very hard to know when to finish. A very famous artist once said, a piece of art is never completed, it is just abandoned. And I totally get that. Because you can always add extra bits, you can always tinker with it. Um, and you can always carry on your drawing forever and ever. And there comes a point when you have to just say, I think this drawing is finished now. And that point is probably about almost in a few seconds now. Okay, there it is. There is Little Bear's concert. Ah, actually, there's one last thing I need to do. Uh, probably the most important thing that you should do with your artwork, and that is sign it. Because you never know, in maybe 100 years, 200 years, a thousand years someone is going to want to know who drew this masterpiece who is the artist behind them so yes absolutely always sign your work okay there we go there is uh, a festive version of little bear from little bear's concert um, i hope you enjoy drawing your own version okay everyone there we go thank you very much for watching here is my drawing of little bear wearing her very attractive festive hat uh thanks very much for taking part i would love to see your own drawings of little bear um thank you very much for watching happy drawing happy reading and a very happy christmas bye bye